Weather changes fast, like really fast. Not just by the minute, but by the second. Whether it's digging out from feet of snow or beating intense summer heat. I'm about to show you how we do weather here at NBC 10. Here's a hint, we're not sitting behind a desk all day. One of the coolest parts about our job, guys, is breaking out of the building and going to the weather. And so what we use, Storm Force 10. You see behind me, the tires on this thing are a beast. And so it allows us to get to places fast, even when the weather is tough. This isn't like mom or dad's SUV. Storm Force 10 has weather sensors on the roof, an onboard computer, and Wi-Fi. That's a small weather center. Storm Force 10 also features two cameras, one camera facing out the windshield showing the weather, and another camera pointed toward me. That one gets my face on live TV. So they give us a lot of pretty cool toys here at NBC 10, like right here, Storm Ranger 10. But no, 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 I'm talking about the big boy toy, Storm Ranger 10. You see that? That's a radar on wheels. If you have ever seen Twister, it's just like that. We drive to the storm, put up the radar, and we scan the sky. That big black dome you see lifting up into the sky, that's a real radar. It tells me where the big weather is. Since that radar is 20 feet high, it sees the weather happening close to the ground, where we live. I use the computers to show these storms, Storm Ranger 10 down on TV. Storm Ranger has toughed out some big weather, including tropical storms, blizzards, thunderstorms, and even a close call with a funnel cloud. We use the camera mounted on the roof to show the weather too. We cover weather over three states. Can you guess which three? Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. So wheels are fun, but I've got something better for you all. Guys, you're about to know how fun it is to be the John of weather in Philly. Buckle up, we're going on a ride. Are we clear for takeoff? So we're about a thousand feet above Philadelphia right now, and I'm in Sky Force 10. And I have my headset on, so I'm hearing the station, and I can communicate back and forth. And we can go anywhere fast. Weather and news happens fast. And so we got to act fast. What you're looking at right now is our vision from Sky Force 10 using our gyro camera in front of the chopper. We're looking at the Comcast Technology Center, the tallest skyscraper in Philadelphia, and also the home of NBC 10 on the 12th and 13th floor. So seeing is believing. Let's take a peek into NBC 10 from Sky Force 10. And I want you to look closely. Do you spot the bow tie? Mr. Glenn Hurricane Schwartz, just a Friday on the job. So you're looking at all of the cameras right now on Sky Force 10. We have them mounted all over the chopper to give us the best view as we move to South Philly. We just went from the home base of NBC 10 at 18th and Arch all the way to South Philly in less than three minutes. Try to do that in mom and dad's car. Notice there's not a bad seat in Sky Force 10. We use these tools every day, breaking news, breaking weather, to literally fly to your neighborhood to cover what's happening now. All right, we've done a lot today. Who's hungry? I am. Where are we going for lunch? Let's go to Gino's. So where is that? Well, we're gonna locate it right there for you. Who wants a cheesesteak with Wiz? After an awesome lunch, it's time to land Skyforce because our next technology adventure is awaiting us. We don't want to be late. Hey there, welcome to our home turf. This is the Comcast Technology Center and wow, do we like our technology around here. Can you see that? Is that screen big enough for you behind me? Yeah, we do weather here every day of the week, 365 days a year, holidays, early mornings, noon, and night. And so we use this technology, like the big screens behind me, to tell the weather story. We have to capture your attention. Whoa, what happened here? We have some breaking weather. You know that when you watch NBC 10, when you see our studio lights go red. We're red from top to bottom and into the desk. This is meant to grab your attention. So when you see this look, you know something big is happening. 
here I am, the big wall. This is where I do weather. This is where our whole team does weather every night, every morning, and every day. And so it's more than just a big screen. We have a whole toolbox of items that we can do to track the weather. So for instance, if I really want to say, Redding, you're in trouble, well, I'm going to circle you right on the map. I'm going to erase that tool, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, I really want to get a good look at Philadelphia because there is something happening here close to the city. There we go. I can show you down to street level. But sometimes the weather gets severe. Tornadoes. This is when we're warning you. Get to your basement. Get to your lowest form of your house. Get to a bathroom. And the reason why is, well, these storms move fast and they're dangerous and they're on the move. So what we're going to do is draw that storm track because we got to let towns ahead of this tornado know where to go, what to do. And so we're going to give them by the minute when that tornado may hit them. But sometimes to tell the weather story, you really need to bring the weather to life. So this is what I'm talking about. You're looking at this nice big blank floor, right? There's no weather here. You just wait. What's happening here? Uh-oh, it's starting to rain. There you go, uh-oh, you gotta back away. Road is closed. Floodwaters are dangerous. We're talking about just about six inches of moving water that can sweep you off your feet. Yeah, that's a big story, and maybe you'll pay attention now. So now you see the weather, and now you don't. This is called augmented reality. I hope you enjoyed this journey. Each day is a rush, working with the newest gadgets and tools. If you like science and weather, maybe you should give weather a try, because you know exactly what kind of fun you're about to enjoy.